Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. So in the previous tutorial, we have set up our Salesforce Einstein capture. Now what we're going to do is we are going to set up some meeting invites to a particular contact using our Salesforce and let's see if those meeting invites reflect in our Gmail account or not. Right now, if I go back here to my open up my Gmail here and let's see we go over to calendar. So we go over to the calendar here and uh, under the calendar for let's say for this Friday 24th, we don't have any meetings showing up right yet, right? We don't have any meeting except this one. So now what we're going to do is we will go back here and we will go over to contacts. Sorry, we'll go to calendar. Okay. We'll go over to calendar here and then we will set up a meeting invite for one of the contacts. Let's see what is the name of the contacts we have. So let's go ahead and see some contacts and we will set up a meeting invite for that particular contact here. All contacts and then this one and let's say we set up for Andy Young. Okay. So we'll go over to calendar and for tomorrow, Friday 24th, I'm going to set up a meeting this is for November 24th, 4.30 to 5.30. I'm going to set up a meeting with Andy Young. This is the contact that I'm choosing, Andy Young here. And then subject is meeting with Andy, 4.30 to 5.30. And I'm setting it up within Salesforce and hit the save. Right now, there is no nothing on the calendar for Andy. Okay, so now after a few minutes, just hold, wait for a few minutes and then let's go ahead and refresh this page a couple times to make sure that meeting appears on the calendar. So far, the meeting doesn't appear yet. Just give it a few more minutes to see the meeting getting reflected. In the meanwhile, let's create another meeting invite. Okay, so let's say we do it another one for the same day. And this time we will do it with another contact called Arthur Sung. Okay, this is another contact. So for this contact, I'm, me I'm also meeting another uh, meeting here. So we'll say meeting with Arthur. And uh, let's say we do this one for 25th and we'll say happy hour. Okay. And uh, this is it. And then hit the save. So we have created two meetings, one for tomorrow and the other one is for the Saturday 25th. Let's see if these are reflected in our calendar. So we're going to go ahead and refresh the page. Nothing so far. You can see here meeting with Andy came. You can see whatever timing we have set up, it's changed into this and 6.30 to 7.30. So we have a meeting with Andy. So this is done. So if I go back here to the calendar, under this calendar, this meeting with Andy was for 4.30 to 5.30 a.m. So here in my Gmail, it is reflecting 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. And then here, if you go and refresh the page, let's say if the second meeting popped up or not. It takes a few minutes to see the meeting. And you can see here, even this one shows up, meeting with Arthur, happy hour. So this has been set it up. Now, let's say you are doing something from here, it will reflect for that particular contact. So let's say we go back and we set up another uh, calendar invite. Okay, so let's say we do another calendar invite over here. And uh, this one is between, it's not at 6.30 to 7.30. This one we will do it around 1, 12.45 to 1.45 with Andy again. Okay, this is for 25th and then we are going to go ahead and do Andy and then hit the save. Now what you're going to see is this meeting is going to appear on our G Gmail calendar as well. And this is for meeting with Andy again. At what time are we doing it? So if you go here, let's refresh the page. So on our calendar, it's going to reflect the meeting, right? And also in our Gmail, it's going to reflect it. So we go here, meeting with Andy is between 12.45 to 1.45 p.m. Let's say for Saturday 25th, let's say it gets reflected. You can see here, it gets reflected here, meeting with Andy 2.45 to 3.45, okay? So the meeting that we are setting up in our Salesforce is being tied on to our Gmail account. So that is the power here. So now let's say we go over to all contacts and uh, let's say we go over here, Andy Young. Okay. And uh, let's say we change the email address here. Okay. So this is the email address I'm going to change uh, to an email that I have access to. Okay. So here I'm going to change it to info at my tutorial rack 
dot com. Okay, so this is the one. Andy's email is info at mytutorialrack.com. And you can see here under Andy, you have set up two meetings and those two meetings are reflecting over here. One is at 1245 and the other one is at 430 AM tomorrow. And the other one is on November 25th. You can see here. So these meeting invites are there. Now let's say we go over to our Gmail. Okay, we go over to our Gmail here. And uh, let's say I send a email to Andy. Andy's email address is info at my tutorial rack. So here I'm going to go ahead and do compose. And here I'm going to say info at my tutorial rack. The thing is I have set up multiple Gmail accounts to multiple Salesforce. That's why. But let's see if this works. Okay. Okay. So this is the email I've set, but it's showing as Ken and Vernon because another contact had the same email that I've tied off a different account. But let's see if under Andy, this email shows up. But if you are not using and you have multiple, if you don't have multiple accounts tied to the same Gmail, you will see that email showing up over here also. And you can see here that email popped up here. Hey, let's connect the Pika Khanna to Andy Young. So that email that you have sent from your Gmail is reflected here. And this is the same email that I sent. We have an opportunity to close. If you can close it early will be great. Isn't this powerful? You have set up a meeting through your calendar, Gmail calendar, and that that also will get reflected within Salesforce. We, what we did, we set up some meetings within Salesforce and those meetings got reflected onto our Gmail calendar. Whatever the email that we have sent through Gmail is also getting reflected under your Salesforce contact. Now let's say I go over here and I create, I go over to calendar and I set up a meeting with the same individual Andy. Okay. And I'm doing it on for Sunday. So this is the meeting invite I'm doing and uh, meeting with Andy regarding opportunity and then add guest here. I'm going to uh, Arthur Sung see here. These are the ones from Salesforce. You can see here Arthur Sung that is with the email is with it's Arthur Sung. So I'm sending it with Arthur. Let's say now this time I'm doing it with Arthur and that contact already came here. So the contacts have been synced also. If you want to send for Andy as well, let's say we do it. Andre also, I think this was the guy name. And uh, who other contacts that we have? Let's say if I go over to contacts, you can see all the contacts will also get reflected. Let's say Abdul Berg. Let's say if this person shows up here. Abdul. You can see here Abdul Berg. So you can see the contacts within Salesforce as well as the same contacts you can see under Gmail. Isn't this powerful? You, you didn't even sync the contacts. Automatically, the contacts also get synced. Okay. Meeting with the team. Let's say we say meeting with the team and these particular meeting will reflect on all these three people's calendar, Abdul, Arthur, Sung and Kenan. Okay. And what time e uh, it's for the email will be sent 30 minutes. It's let's celebrate Thanksgiving together. Let's say let's celebrate Thanksgiving. This is what I'm sending. And uh, is there a subject line? Uh, nope. That is it. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, it's with 3 to 4 p.m. on November 26. OK, hit the save here. Would you like to send invitation emails to G uh, Google Calendar guest sent? So now we have meeting with the team. Now let's say we go over to these contacts. Abdul Burke. Is that activity reflected under Abdul Burke? Abdul Burke. So let's say it takes a while, but the email has been sent. That also we will see if that activity shows up. But now let's say we go over to this. And let's say if it get connected or not. You can see here meeting with the team came and you can see if I go over and open up this email, we can see three others. And this is what the email looks like. Join with the Google meet and the meeting link is there. So that first email actually came, wasn't lost. It just took you just, just took a while. And if you want to see the few full email, you will see it is, this is the power of Einstein activity capture. Whatever you do in your Gmail gets reflected over to your Salesforce and whatever you're doing in Salesforce is being reflected in your Gmail account. This is the sync that is happening. If you're setting up a meeting within your uh, Gmail, you see that meeting invite under that contact. Whenever you have sent an email to a specific contact of Salesforce, that email also is reflecting under that contact. 
So this is the power of Einstein activity capture. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, make sure you practice along with me and whatever the steps that I've shown you do it and you will see the sync happening and you can see all the contacts that are available within the within the Salesforce are also available in your Gmail. So if I go over to any of these contacts, let's say if I go for the previous one, we sent an email to uh, Abdul Burg also, and the same activity is going to reflect here, meeting with the team. You can see here the same reflects over here. Also, what was the other? And if you go here, you will see all these contacts within your Salesforce. So you can see Abdi, Abby Stunnard. Okay, this contact will be reflected here. So if I say create, and uh, let's go over to Gmail again. And over here, we say compose. And if I see this particular contact, Abby Stun, it's available. Similarly, if I go and then click on another one, see this is that wikipedia.org was the same. So all the contacts have also kind of synced between Salesforce and your Gmail account. So the contacts are also there. So you can see here, this next one is also there. And now if I send to these people and let's say, let's say we say happy Thanksgiving. And let's say we do that and uh, this is the message that we are sending and let's say we do send and now let's say if that email is reflected in those contacts let's say one was this and then the other one was abby sterner now it takes few minutes so give it some time but it will reflect it and you can see here that happy thanksgiving email is now showing up over to this particular account okay and if you want to open it this is the one that you have sent so the sync has happened the sync of contacts have happened the sync of um, the contacts have been synced the emails have been sent and if you have sent any meeting invites those have also been synced with the help of einstein activity capture so when you load that record you see everything that you have done all the communications that you did all the meetings that you have set all the emails that you have set whatever you have done for that contact is available in one place this is einstein activity capture i hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials thank you very very much and have a wonderful rest of the day bye bye take care